What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my beautiful wife right here are coming at you guys every week with tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully entice, enhance, and take your relationship to a whole new level. And if you're not in a relationship, don't worry because this advice or these tips and tricks will hopefully set you up for a successful new relationship with a partner that hopefully you'll know what the good things are, bad things are, and where to go from here. Be able to point it out a little faster. That's right, that's <laughs> right. We're gonna give you guys the inside scoop of maybe what to look for, you know, how you can deflect some things, or how you can, you know, go on to having a very successful relationship. So, every week we pick a new topic, and whether it's a tip or trick to help you guys in the bedroom, or to communicate better, or things to watch out for, or things that you should probably do. Um, and in this week, it's not anything has changed. So at this point, uh, we're going to talk about quality time and spending quality time with your loved one, your partner, whatever it is. At that point, we were talking with some friends this weekend. And that's where you get a, little, a lot of insight because me and Cherise, like, we know our relationship. We know kind of what works. Um, a lot of people ask us how our relationship works the way it does because of how, you know, crazy, I guess, our life is. And, um, you know, it's unorthodox in some of the different things that we've done throughout the times that, you know, normal people wouldn't do maybe. That we still do. That we still do, yeah. you know, and people are like, wow, that really works or how does that work? And it just may not work for them, right? So everybody's different relationships, different, um, your boundaries, everything you set, these are the things that are hopefully going to set the relationship up for success. But one thing you cannot forget, obviously communication is one of the main gotta things. Gotta have communication. You know, we always mention that one because it's that important. Gotta, we gotta have, mention it at least once in every single episode yeah. so you guys don't forget. It, We're yeah. just drilling it in your yeah. brain. Yeah. Communicate, yeah. communicate, communicate. Constant, constant Stop communication. Stop being silent, communicate, communicate, yes. communicate. Yes, <laughs> you know, so, you know, with this one, the first thing you guys need to communicate is you need to spend time together right now it gets real hard it gets a little bit more tricky as the relationship goes on first off when you first meet you know you probably have jobs and you guys are working different schedules or maybe you're working the same schedules and you guys are going out and you guys are having a great time and if everything's going well right the, the relationship's going to advance and you guys are going to progressively go more and more so that means you know getting engaged possibly getting married having kids um, whatever it is even if you don't have kids or you're not married or engaged it's still important to have that quality time. It just gets a little bit more trickier when you do have kids. But yeah, you gotta like remember what, like what is the definition of quality time, right? Because yeah. everybody's definition of quality time is different. Yeah. And that's fine. You can have a different definition for everybody yeah. in quality time. But let me label some things that are not quality time. Mm. Having children around is not quality time. It might be family time, that's not couple quality time, right, okay? Right. Going to dinner with friends, that's not quality time. That's hanging out with your friends and not going to dinner by yourself with your significant other, trying to figure out what you guys are gonna talk about alone. Because you gotta have alone time, meaning True. alone. True. So it's just, I wanna point these things out. Going into a nightclub with your friends, that's also the same exact type of thing. You know, or B, maybe you think quality time is um, you guys both sitting in a bed and one's watching TV and one's reading a book. That is also not quality time. I want to make sure I, I, I at least pick the couple things that are on top. It's talking. time spent together. I mean, you're not talking. You're not conversating. You're not updating each other yeah. on feelings and or what's going on at work or yeah. what's going on here, what's going on there. It might. Be, I mean, me and John are busy, so 
I mean, we get to spend minimal quality time together, even though we're together all day, every day. Yeah. That doesn't mean we get to talk and have quality time, you know? So it's, I think it's important that you guys understand what quality time is and the definition of what quality time is and meaning truly by yourselves and really interacting with yeah. each other. Yeah. I think that's what it really comes down to. And down your cell phone when you guys are at dinner together, invite you too. You're on your that. phone the whole time. That, that really pisses me off. It's not good. And it's, you know, That'll piss me off. For some people to say, listen, I work a lot on my phone, or I do this. Yeah, I totally that's understand. That's she fine. totally understands it's an that. Hour. But like, you know, that one hour of quality time is gonna be everlasting to your partner. They're gonna really appreciate it. And if they don't, they might need another partner. But at that point, Somebody is going to appreciate you, you know, interacting with them, listening to them, because it's not just talking to somebody. It's really listening and let them tell you, hey, what's going on? Or they might have stuff that they want to share with you. And it's just important to listen and obviously reciprocate and talk back too as well. Not just sitting there like, mm, and You know, it's like you know? little things too, because I'm like trying to remember, because we just recently went on my birthday vacation. And my birthday vacation is always ever so important because it's, I need that like one week away from human society and everyone to just like really think about what's going on, spend time with John. And I'm not alone with John, but I make time alone with John. But there are little things that I like recall over the vacation that I don't see other couples do that me and John still do right now going on what 15 years or something mm -hmm. like that. You know, we still hold hands. That's important, right? I feel like people just don't do that anymore. I don't, it's really weird. You don't people, you don't see people like, sometimes I'll just go up to him and like, we'll be walking, go like that. Or, you know, we literally hold hands, right? When we're walking through the mall or whatever it is. I feel like people are so much more distant nowadays. Six foot, baby. No, I'm just joking. This is not COVID. <laughs> Either that or they're preoccupied on their phone, so they're not holding hands because they got their phone like this while they're walking through the mall. It's true. So you're not, if you, if you at least can point these things out, you know, you'll, you'll maybe do it, right? So hold hands, kiss, make sure you kiss at least once a day. That's super important. Say I love you. And another thing is, is if you guys go out somewhere, like, um, I don't know, maybe dinner or let's use dinner. So if you go to dinner, why don't you try sitting next to your significant other instead of like maybe the group of friends so that you can not only have a talk with your friends, but you can still have a talk with your significant other, not like they don't exist with a menu in front of their face, right? <laughs> so there's that. And then the other example I can give you is that, you know, me and John, we still have this spark when we go to a nightclub, right? And yeah, we're getting old, that's fine. We're gonna be those old people in the club in the VIP section still dancing, right? It's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, hey, oh, I don't belong here, but hey, this is so much fun. <laughs> um, but regardless, me and him, you know, we still like, you know, we still interact with each other at the, at the club or, or dancing. That's our thing though, right? We like to dance, we like music. Find your thing and then do your thing with each other. Mm -hmm. Like it's really boils down to that. And this is just a couple of little highlights throughout the vacation that I can like point out to you that I'm like, wow, I'm not seeing like the other couples aren't dancing with each other. Well, you know, like maybe they don't want to dance. I guess that's fine. But like even, you know, they don't hold hands and they're, they're not, you know, they don't give a hug or they don't, I don't know. It's just, it's very distant sometimes. I know they still, they love each other. That's fine. You can love each other all day. But you got to keep the love going and right. you got to keep it fresh. It's constantly working, you know? It is working. It's such a job. Yeah. It's not. It's, it's, God, it's, job you know, makes it so difficult. It's, con it's constant maintenance to the relationship. You maintenance your car. When I'm maintenance to the relationship, make sure everything's good, per se. The tire, right? And everything's good on the car, so why don't you make sure the relationship's the exact same? You broke down side of the road. Well, that's what I'm saying. You don't know <laughs> when the relationship is going to break down because you haven't paid any attention to it. So at that point, you're kind of running on fumes or something's going to you know, be all balanced. You're just going to break down. And, and then at that point, it's going to be like, oh, what, what, why, why? I'm not sharing no attention to you and you're wanting to go do other stuff without me or with your friends or somebody gets in the DMs or whatever it is. And that's just, that's not right I'm either. I'm not being my man's DMs. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, these things can happen. It opens up for issues out there, you know, and that's what I'm saying. Like, set something aside. That's what most complaints are, I think, from women it's a lot. or guys. You know, they don't show me no attention. You know, things like uh, pure guys are. I've heard, you know, from them once, you know, um, you know, they're married. Uh, it's married life. No, it's not true. 
Um, that's just you guys not working at it. <laughs> Two, um, yeah, we got kids. Yeah, I understand the kid thing for sure, hundred percent. But there's times that I know I snuck away, we snuck away, um, just for whatever it was, right? There's definitely times you can't too. Now, Make if the wife is out of the mood and everything like that, and the wife don't want to show you no love, you need to talk to her about this. And like, hey, and if she's like, hey, there's issues, then there's help for that too as well. Tight Medical Center definitely help women out. We'll help pregnancies. you get out of those sweatpants at eight o'clock, ladies. Absolutely. So, you know, that's that's really what it is. But it's paying attention, and then there's an issue communicating with that. Of course. Um, but that's the biggest thing. And you know, you set aside one night a week. Right, one night, I don't care if it's two to three hours where you guys go have dinner or go do something um, by yourselves, doesn't matter. You guys go putt putting, just you two, right? Something of that nature, something where it's just you guys, you guys can interact, have maybe some fun, and talk about maybe the day or you know, the Laugh relationship about or everything some else. Stuff. Absolutely, go people watch, yeah, I mean, do something, you know. Yeah. It, it feels good to laugh and talk about things or whatever it might be. Cause you might, I mean, after so much time, you know your partner pretty good and there's only so many questions you can ask. Like what's your favorite color? Yeah, yeah. What, what, what kind, you know, I think I asked John the other day <laughs> what, what his uh, spirit animal would be or yeah. something random like that because we're watching some show. But so it could be a tiger or a lion. Well, what's even better than well, that? Well, I wanted to make sure I picked out exactly what I knew he'd oh, say. I guess I'll be a bear. So he could be, you know, crazy. She never told me her though. Anyway. He didn't ask. Oh. Ah. <laughs> See, no reciprocation here. No reciprocation. I communicate. You need reciprocate. Nobody <laughs> even knows what my spirit animal is. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's in her own right. That's what she is already. <laughs> She is a spirit animal. Uh, so oh, guys, I hope this helped you guys out in your relationship or applying it to your relationship in the future. Um, and if you're one of these couples, maybe you've lost track of things. Hey, there's no better time than now to get back on track and ignite those flames right back where they need to be. All right. So every week, tune into us live here on ABC at 11 a.m. DVR us if you can't watch us live. And don't worry if you guys can't watch us at all. ABC live or on DVR, just go to YouTube. You'll see this video and all kinds of other great content. I guarantee you guys are gonna love and we'll definitely give you some entertainment and maybe some great knowledge to apply forward. So guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next Sunday with another Cupid's Corner. We'll see you then.